Hello and welcome back to the Trainers of the World Tournament. I'm your host Delta TDS, and today for the second match, or second to last match of round five, or four, god I'm already messing this up. We've got the Johto Gym Leader Jasmine going up as the Pokemon Trainer Kuzma. Two fan favorites. Jasmine's currently got the 6-1 record, Kuzma has the 4-1 record. Jasmine's got a Mega Steelix, we've seen that thing do damage, and Guzma has a Sea Crystal on one of his Pokemon. I guess once these trainers are ready, we can see who will be moving on to the 15th spot in the top 16. Jasmine switching out to that Skarmory. As Guzma goes for a first impression, uh, revealing that it does have that life orb. Guzma switching out to the Toxapex as Skarmory sets up a Stealth Rock. Jasmine switching out to the Magnezone. Toxapex is going for liquidation on Magnezone, getting a defense drop on it. This Toxapex isn't going to be able to do much to Jasmine's team, except to that grab protection. Switching out to the live part, Zap Cannon's gonna miss it. Jasmine is switching out to the Steelix. Dark Pulse is doing 42% to that Steelix. Rat's not doing 32% to Steelix as Gyre Ball takes out that live part. Six turns in, we've got our first KO of this game as Guzma sends out that Toxic Croak. Cross Chop is going to miss the Steelix. Earthquake takes out that Toxic Croak. And Guzma sends out the Haunch Pro now. Sucker Punch doing 19%. Stone Edge taking out Haunch Pro. And Guzma sends out that Pinsir. Close Combat takes out that Steelix. And Jasmine sends out the Skarmory now. Close Combat doing 36% to Skarmory. Aerial Ace will take out the Pinsir. And revealing that Skarmory has those leftovers. Kuzma is going to send out that Toxapex as Skarmory sets up a curse. Skarmory going for another curse as Liquidation struggles to do anything to Skarmory. Aerial Ace do a 25% to Toxapex. Jasmine is going to switch out to the Magnezone. Liquidation doing maybe a little more. Sap Cannon is going to take out that Toxapex. First Depression takes out the Magnezone. Doing 44% when it's not very effective. Aqua Jet takes out the Rapidash. Jasmine sends out the Skarmory now. Aerial Ace doing 23% to Glissapod. Rock Slide doing 23% as well. The exact same percent too. Sucker Punch doing 21%. Aerial Ace does take out that Glissapod. And with three Pokemon remaining, Jasmine takes game number one. Uh, we saw every move from that Glissapod. Nicknamed Beta Low Kicks. Uh, from the other Pokemon, we only saw like one to two moves from. From Jasmine's Pokemon, we didn't see anything from that Rapidash, from the Metagross, or that Lucario. But we saw every move from that Skarmory, and nearly every move from that Steelix. But we are back on the field for game number two. 
And we're gonna see if Jasmine takes a 2-0 sweep or if Guzma brings us to a game number three. Guzma starting off with the Glissapod against Jasmine's Skarmory. A very strong lead for Jasmine, especially with that Stealth Rock as it sets it up. Guzma switching out to the Toxapex. Jasmine's goes, oh god. Jasmine's gonna switch out to the Magnezone, takes 25% from that liquidation. Guzma switches out to the Glissapod. Zap Cannon just takes it out. And Guzma is gonna send out the Pinsir now. Switching out to the Haunch Crow. As Jasmine switches out to the Steelix. Jasmine is gonna Mega Evolve Steelix. And Guzma goes for a Z Curse. Getting an extra attack boost on that. As Steelix goes for a curse as well. These two are cursing each other out. Sucker Punch does 21%. Stone Edge takes out the Haunch Crow. And Guzma sends out the Tox Packs. Liquidation doing 19% and getting rid of that defense boost. While Earthquake takes out the Tox Packs. Guzma sends out the Pets here now. Close combat doing 38%. Gyre Ball takes out that pincer. Toxicroak has a chance to take out this Steelix, which it does with that cross drop. Not making it a uh, 6 and 0 sweep. Clairvalus doing 78% to Toxicroak. Cross drop missing, unfortunately. Sarker Punch doing 39% to Rapidash as Flare Blitz finishes off that Toxicroak. It's all down to Lifeguard now. Dark Pulse takes out the Rapidash. And Jasmine sends out that Metagross. Bullet Punch doing 49%. Excuse me. Yeah, Bullet Punch takes out the Life Heart. And Jasmine with four Pokemon remaining takes game number two, which means that she moves on to the second to last spot of round five, where she'll be going up against the winner of tomorrow's match between Galar Gym Leader Bea and Pokemon Trainer Alder. Thank you so much for watching, and until then, take care.